Hi, welcome to my video. My name is Dan Elm. Today, I wanted to talk about Parkinson's Law. That law is based on a book that Northcott Parkinson wrote back in 1957. And it's about how you and I behave, human behavioral problems. So I'm gonna talk about that just for a few short minutes. Now, before I get into that, I just wanna remind you that if you wanna learn more about what I teach, just go over to my website it's called learnwithdanelm.com. Again, learnwithdanelm.com. Some great content there for you to take in. Now, let's talk about Parkinson's Law. Now, he had a lot of thoughts that he put in that book. And his primary thought was, work expands to meet the time envelope allowed. So basically, that's what he was talking about. If we're given a time envelope to do a job, project, we probably all experience this at school or at work, or given two weeks to get something done, we do it at the last day or two or moment. That's human nature. That's a behavioral problem that if we can manage, we live a much more peaceful life if we don't leave everything to the end. So that was one of his thoughts. Another thought that he had was a luxury once enjoyed becomes a necessity. Well, who of us haven't, you know, done that? Like whether it's as simple as first time you got into a vehicle in a cold climate and there was heated seats, well, after that, that be becomes a necessity for you. Next vehicle you're going to buy, well, it's got to have heated seats in it. So we relate to these thoughts that Parkinson had really well about our behaviors. And the other one I want to talk about today was our expenses rise to find the level of income. So if you got a new level of income, you get a raise, your expenses will rise to find that new level. Who hasn't experienced that? Most of us have. At some point in our life, we've got a raise at work or got a new job and it pays more. And after a few short months, we go, well, where did all that extra income go? Well, what's happened is our expenses are simply raised up to find that new level of income. That's how we work. We, we're structured that way. We just, that, those things are so true. And I, and I suspect everybody listening has experienced that in their life if they've lived long enough to have a raise and get a raise. So how does this relate to things financially? Well, first, one of the things that I've learned doing this and through my life is you have to start. If you're gonna improve your, your life financially, you have to start. It's quite often we get introduced to something or we see something, I should do that, but we don't start. We allow the time envelope just to go on and we never really get started. So that's one challenge we all have when it comes to improving our financial well-being. Another one is pay yourself first. Now who has ever heard, who hasn't heard of that or who hasn't you know, heard someone say, you need to start saving and you should save first and foremost, and then pay your expenses with what's left over. That's a good rule of thumb. Pay yourself first. And if you do that, especially when you get a raise, there's a great time. So if you got a raise and you decided, okay, 50% of my raise or some other number, 20, I'm gonna put it away. I'm gonna put it into a, a place that's gonna help me get better financially down the road. That would be a way to overcome that behavior. And another one is, is when you think about how we're wired, it really aligns with this one thought that Parkinson had about, you know, how luck, you know, once we enjoy something, it becomes a necessity. Well, it's really living within your means because there is so much stuff that we could get when we look at it and look shiny and it looks new and we're driven that, oh man, I'd, I'd like to have that. But if you can start to control that urge, instead of buying the highest end vehicle, for example, you can get, you get a vehicle that does the same thing, but doesn't have all the bells and whistles, a much uh, lower model for say, it's still gonna get you from point A to point B, and you are starting to overcome part of Parkinson's law, which is, you know, everything doesn't have to become a necessity. A lot of them can just be wants and we can just manage our wants. 
So I hope that helps you today. And again, I'd encourage you at any point, if you want to learn more about what I teach, just go over to my website. It's called learnwithdanallen.com and take in the content. Again, learnwithdanallen.com. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about human behaviors today. We all are challenged with them. We all have to master them if we really want to make a real change in our outcomes. So I encourage you with that. Thank you. Have a great day.